Hey guys, welcome to your kickoff video. I am so excited that you decided to start program and I'm gonna go over so much information in this video. So go ahead and grab some pen and paper, get your notes ready. And then if your kit has already arrived, go ahead and grab your Optavia guide and turn to page 18. It has this green page with a couple boxes on it. We're gonna go over that, but we're also gonna go over the link that was sent in the text right before this one. So I'm gonna go over it in so much detail and then after this video you can go through it on your own and keep re-watching if you need any help and then make sure you get on a call with the coach and so make sure that you pick your start date with them they'll help you and we're going to set you up for success that is our job and we absolutely love it so a couple things the day that you pick to start program go ahead and wake up go to the bathroom and weigh yourself. Every time you step on the scale, send it over to us. We want to see it. We're going to help you track it. And we're going to also remind you along the way, it's just a number. And so also don't forget to measure yourself. I have some trackers I'm going to go ahead and show you in a little bit that are really going to help you do that. And then I want you to have your first feeling within the first 30 minutes to an hour of waking up. And this is really because we want you to get your metabolism up and going, but also we don't want your body going into starvation mode and holding on to all of those good nutrients that we're putting inside your body. And so go ahead and have that first feeling within 30 minutes to an hour of waking up. And then you're gonna eat every two to three hours after that. Not later, not before, but really try and time it out. And this is gonna be a good time for you and your coach to sit down and schedule out out what your day looks like. If you wake up at seven, then go ahead and have your first feeling by 7.30 or eight o'clock, and then every two to three hours after that. But don't make the mistake of doing every two hours on the dot just because, you know, it might be five o'clock, you have your last fueling, and then you have no more food between five o'clock and 10 p.m. at night when you go to bed. So you want to make sure that you get that done as well. That's going to be something you guys are going to go over in your phone call. And then we're going to go over your lean and green. So first, I want to go over this amazing drive folder that we have for you. So I'm going to share my screen. So here is the drive folder. It might look a little bit different on your phone, but this is what it's going to be. So our number one is body measurements chart. So this is where you're going to be able to write down the date and then you're going to you know, track your weight and your measurements every single week. If you wanted to measure every single week, that's absolutely okay. Most people do it week one, then they do it at week two because they're super curious. They're like, I'm down six pounds. Where is all that weight coming off? So this is going to be a great place for that. And then, you know, normally week three, people take a break, but you're more than welcome to do it. And then at the one month mark, people are like, Oh my gosh, I'm down 15 pounds. What is going on? And they want to see it again. So that's going to be something really exciting. You'll share this with your coach. And then we have the let's do this file. This is the number two file in your drive. This is going to have so many FAQs, really great information, some goals, some starting weights, all of that. But really we're getting into your why. Y'all, it is so important that we know why we're doing this. Why do you want to start program? right now why are you so eager to start program but also why do we want to get where we're going why don't we want to stay where we're at those kinds of questions are going to be really important to ask yourself and really dig deep into and then we have a log sheet so we have four days worth right here and this is really great because you can use this a couple different ways you can track everything that you're doing in a day you know every time you have a fueling put it down and you're going to want to do this for the first four days for sure. And you'll want to send it to your coach every day at 4 p.m. So track everything that crosses your lips, your water, your condiments, your healthy fats, your leaning greens, all of those good things. Send it to them at 4 p.m. the first few days. And then you also might want to print off another one of these and use it as a meal planner. You know, you might want to be really excited and eager about the next four leaning greens that you're going to make, whether it's a salad or if you wanted to make a casserole that lasted you a long time, totally up to you, but this is going to be a great use for that tool. So that's what I would say about that. And then let's go to our vegetable servings conversion chart. This is still printed and hung up in my pantry. I love it. I love looking back at it. And I just need you to know that you're going to do three vegetables every single day with your leaning green. So not one, not two, not four, definitely three. And we're going to weigh them out. So check out over here. It says quantity and it has half a cup 
all the way down. It doesn't matter how the vegetable is cooked, what kind of vegetable it is, it's all have a cut. But Optivus really come away from that where we are weighing out our vegetables so that it's not about some arbitrary number to fill our stomachs. It's actually about getting the right amount of nutrients and minerals into our bodies to fuel it correctly. So we're going to do three of these and they can be three of the same ones, three different ones. You, However the math works out for you, absolutely go for it. It is so exciting. Take a look here before you go grocery shopping. And then the next one is our condiments and healthy fats list. So our condiments are totally, totally optional. You can have zero, one, two, or three. So as long as you don't go over that three mark, you are going to stay in fat burn. You are good. Don't even worry about it. But some people do zero. Some people do, you know, whatever fits that day. And then some people do all three and that's okay. This is a scientific plan and there's grace built into the scientific program so that you can have three condiments a day. And so this can be anything. This can be sugar-free syrup on your pancake fueling, or it can be salt and pepper for your leading grain. It can be anything like that. So you get three of these a day, totally optional. And then pages three, four, and five are healthy fats. So our healthy fats are mandatory, not like our optional condiments. These are totally mandatory and they're determined by your protein. So that might be something that you want to write down in your notes. So we're doing mandatory healthy fats. You get anywhere from zero. You might not get any, and then you might get two. And so it totally depends somewhere in between. And that all depends on what protein you decide to have for your lean and grain. And we'll go into that in just a second. And so let's keep scrolling, looking at all of this. It's just so exciting. I love using my healthy fats avocado milks like almond milk too cups oh my goodness and then pesto we really like pesto uh, mayonnaise of all things and then butter cream cheese sour cream there's so many things and then of course your salad dressings are going to be your healthy fat as well so you can have as much as two tablespoons per one healthy fat so just really planning strategically what you're going to eat for dinner that night or whatever your lean and green is going to be um that's what i would say there. And then let's go over to the Optivia 5-in-1 guide. So this is where I pulled out page 18. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down to page 18. You can get this out of your box if you already have it. If not, just look on the screen with me. It's totally fine. So these are four boxes right on top of each other. So it starts from the leanest category all the way down to lean. So we're looking at, you know, the very top, it says chew the seven ounce portion, cooked weight. So you're going to cook your meat, put it on the scale, weigh it, and then you need two healthy fats. It's not a suggestion. This is something that you absolutely have to have. This is going to be so good for your body to absorb all of the good nutrients and minerals by getting this fat into your body. And so if we don't have it, it's just going all to waste y'all. So we want to make sure that we absorb all of that good stuff that we're already eating. And then you'll look and see, you know, what do you eat out of this? Do you eat tilapia or tuna or shrimp or game meat? Or can you find 98% or more lean beef or turkey, that's going to be a really good option for this category. And that's going to really unlock those two healthy fats for you. I will say we do have meatless options. And so if you like eggs, we have 14 egg whites right here. But I'm going to tell you, two cups of egg beaters is a lot of food. We did it once and we never did it again. So remind yourself, you do still have to eat three servings of vegetables with this meal. And it's just going to be a lot. If you don't text us a picture of your food and say, did I do this correctly? Then you might not have done it correctly. So we want to make sure that your, your plate is full and beautiful and amazing. And you're getting all of that good food and calories in your body, but also make sure you're taking a picture of your food day one, two, three, and four, send it over to us because your coach is definitely going to know if this is correct. Do we need more? What was your healthy fat? And so we're going to ask you all those questions. So just send it over to us. We love seeing pictures. And then you know what? You might just go and post that, go post that on Facebook and go share it with everyone. People are looking for healthy recipes right now and you, my friend, have the answer. So looking at this second category, category, this is our leaner option. Choose a six ounce portion, cooked weight. So cook your meat, put it on the scale and weigh it. And then you need one healthy fat. So this could be oil in the pan, salad dressing, pesto, whatever that is for you. But also just to note, cooking spray, 99% of the time is fat free. So that might alleviate that healthy fat 
little portion for you. So you don't have to use oil in the pan as your fat. You can use something more exciting. And then we also have the lean options. So down here in this third box, choose a five ounce portion. So you're going to cook your meat, put it on a scale and weigh it. And then this is the one that you don't get any healthy fat with. And that's just because it's a really fatty piece of meat anyway. So while I was in fat loss, I really liked healthy fats. So I stayed away from this one. Also, my husband and I really liked to put butter on our steaks. So there's no shame in our game. But with this steak, we did say, you know what, while we're on 5 and one we're not going to do steak, but we'll bring it back into maintenance because you can do that. And so that's what we decided to do. Pork chops are in here, 85 to 94% lean beef or turkey, whatever that is. You can do that taco meat, easy. And then um, just keep looking at it. three whole eggs limit once per week just because they're really fatty and so just be strategic here so knowing that this third box means that you don't get a healthy fat if that's okay that's okay and so there's price built in that's a scientific program where you are allowed to have any of these meats with that coordinating healthy fat and you're still going to see success so it's very exciting to see all of that. Make sure you weigh your greens with it too and make sure you get three of them. And then here are just some examples at the bottom of some healthy fats, but we just went over that. So that is perfect. And then I wanna go over the optional snack. So just like the condiments, this optional snack is once again optional. So. I'm gonna say it. This is a scientific program. There is grace built into the scientific program where you are able to have one optional snack a day. And you might need that in the first few days while you detox. You might need that because you might have a headache. A lot of people like to have some pickle spears while they have their headache. And so that kind of helps with that sodium. And so they do one of their optional snacks there. Maybe you're hungry and looking at the clock. So this is where that will fit in. Um, then you might be detoxing. You know, if you're detoxing off of sugar, soda, sodium, carbs, you name it, these might fill in the gaps for you during those first four days while you're getting into fat burn. So really consider getting some of these from the grocery store this weekend or this week and having those on hand. And then there are a couple other documents. There's a dining out guide. We just showed you the vegetarian non-meat option, so you can go through that one. And then there's a product claims worksheet here if you needed that. And I have a couple more tips, so make sure you get out your notepad just in case. So we're going to aim for half our body weight in ounces of water or 100 ounces of water. So whichever one is easiest for you, set that goal and really go high, okay? So we want to make sure that we get all of our water and take in. Our fat leaves our body through our urine. So we really want to strive for as much water as possible. And then um, we're going to write down our why and our let's do this file. So we want to make sure we really go through this. And then I'm going to stop sharing because I really want to reiterate this last one. So we're going to plug in our Facebook page and we're going to be active. We're going to post our recipes. We're going to post our before and afters. On day eight, you're going to post on your Facebook page. And we do this because, you know, most people say to themselves, no one knows I'm on a diet. It won't matter if I fail. And I'm here to tell you, no, 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 not anymore. People are going to know you're on a diet. They're going to know that they are going to be supportive of you. No one's going to come bring you a milkshake. And we're just going to know that we're going to be successful because we will. We are going to show people our progress on day eight. Day eight happened. I love this program. I'm finally feeling amazing. I have confidence, all of those good things. And we're going to help you curate that post too. But you're down a certain amount of pounds and you're feeling awesome. So all of those things together are going to make your first Facebook post on your personal page. And a couple things just so that you know what's expected of your coach. So we are going to text you every single day for the first two weeks of program. So you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I bet they just copy and paste this to all of their clients. And you're right, because we totally do. They have so much good information in them. We have, you know, all the foreshadowing that you need for that day and the next day. And so you're going to be so well prepared by them that we don't need to change them. And so this is going to be a really good text for you to look at every single morning when you wake up. And then also we're going to call you. And so just like you need to set up a call right after you get off this video, you're going to go call your coach and say, okay, I'm ready. Let's make a start day. And then we're going to call you on day one, probably about four or five minutes. Then we're going to call you again on day four. And then we're going to call you again on day eight and once a week after that. And so just that kind of follows the same weigh-in schedule. So you're going to weigh in on day one, right before you take your first fueling. And then you're going to weigh in on day four. 
and we're gonna party we're gonna celebrate it's gonna be so exciting and then we're gonna celebrate again on day eight and so that day eight that's when we're gonna say okay what are you posting let's talk about it let's brainstorm let's put some pictures together your coach knows how to put pictures together and it's just so exciting we love celebrating you and so we're going to talk about all of that on day eight but really that is it the things that you need to send us is a picture of your leaning greens for the first four days your tracker for the first four days we want to see everything logged we want to help you our job is to get you into that burn as quickly as possible and then pick up the phone Pick up the phone from us the first one, day one, pick it up on day four, and then once a week after that. We just want to connect with you, help you. That is what sets Optavia apart from every other diet you've ever tried in your life. You have someone that's invested in you, cheering for you, but also is an expert in what you're doing. So we can help. And then I think that's it on day eight, just get ready to post. And so be thinking about what it is. Make sure you take really good pictures beforehand. If you don't want to show your belly on Facebook, that's okay. Make sure you take it in a, take your before picture in a tight fitted shirt or something. That'll be really nice. And then send it over to us. Send us your way in every single time that you step on the scale. And that's really it. Go ahead and get off of this video, text your coach and say, I'm ready. Let's pick a start date.